Hello everyone, welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree. I got some goodies. So, you know how people say that things happen in three. Well, we have one. I'm holding my camera, so if it's a bit jiggly. And then we have number two. And then we have number three three boxes full of lace and ribbon it looks like some tool there so fun stuff this is going to be my project for tonight is going through all this stuff seeing all what's in here so once I going to organize it a little bit and whatnot, and then I'll show you all what I've got. Okay, so I've got everything kind of out of the bags and out of the boxes and whatnot. Um, there's some strange things, but boy, tons and tons of stuff. So these look like they were from a purse, so not sure what I'll do with them but might make a good journal closure or something like that but we got those and then there's a whole bunch of these rings really heavy duty not quite sure what I'll do with those but hey you never know let's just set those up over there let's there is four garters now these were obviously they must have bought these somewhere or something. There's an old price tag there of looks like seven dollars, so I don't know if somebody was selling these. But there is four of those. I'm thinking they might make a pretty good journal closure. I don't know. So we'll see. You never know what we'll do with them. There is a few odds and ends. There is two um, appliques. So this is from Welkmart. Now Welkmart hasn't been in town here for a number of years. So, but it looked like some of the price tags on these, I would say that she um, bought some of the stuff at, at thrift stores and stuff. There is this here. Now it's kind of a silky type, see-through, very pretty. It's got this stitching going down the middle, but that's very nice. I like that. There was this here. It's a little piece of ribbon. Now it looks like it's braided ribbon, but it actually looks really, really cool. So there's that little chunk of... Um, Hand crocheting, it looks like it was a collar or something because it's got a button there and a button loop. So I'm going to say a good guess that that's a collar. And there is this here, which I, oh, there's this here ribbon or lace, a very fine, fine lace. And then there is this, which I think this piece is just adorable. Not sure how well you can see that but there's probably you know there's a yard or more of some of this stuff so and then it's, this is really really wide stuff and this is just I love this this is just gorgeous and it's probably you know, six seven inches wide so that is a gorgeous and there's about a meter of it a little over a meter we've got this here this would be really nice for pockets so there's probably two meters of that quite a bit of that this one here with a bit of gold on the top now, I don't know if this is handmade or 
if it was bought like this but there's this nice beautiful wide lace and then there's a couple different um, rows of stuff with a gold glitter in it this nice teal stuff this is about uh, probably five inches wide but there's a couple meters of that we've got some off-white stuff here and then we have some pink which is very very pretty I just I can't believe how much lace there is here okay and then there's a whole bunch of there's quite a few of this home sweet home and this is just a white satiny ribbon with this silver on the top of it. I don't use gathered lace much, and a lot of this is gathered, but it's easy to ungather. But I've got a couple ideas, too, on a bunch of this gathered lace. Here's a nice blue. Very pale, not pale, but like a nice aqua color in there. And then we've got some gold stuff. It's got a little frill right here on it. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that's nice. We have this here. This stuff actually feels really weird. It, it's, it feels like it should be shiny, but it's not. So, definitely a newer lace. Some of this lace actually looks like it might have been older. Here's some. See, this is one that looks like a thrift store sticker. So, just a white lace. And here's a white and a gold. Very flashy. Very nice. This here, this is a gorgeous color. I'm not sure how well the color will pick up on camera but very beautiful colors go great in like a spring flower journal or something we've got some green and a off-white that are mixed together the lady that I got this from she said she used to make dog diapers and she would sell them in a um, pet shop. So these were like ruffles along the diapers. Nice blue. And then we've got another nice floral style, which would go really, really good in a spring journal as well. And then there is this white with, with a heavy... Um, not seam binding but it's stuff that so then you could just put that over the edge and then sew it so there is that oh, there's a pin better not lose that let's put that on a magnet right whoops hold on i dropped the needle don't need to be dropping it on the floor because then i'll step on it and then just the white So many. Here is a roll of just a white gathered lace. And this doesn't, if there was any taken off of there. And like it says four yards, so there's probably three and a half yards left on there. Um, here's some white with a really cool piece of tape. Hmm. I was going to just throw that away and I thought, no, I got to save that. So I'll, uh, when I clean it all up. And this is like that green stuff where you would put it over. And then there is this deep dark green as well. I'm just throwing it about back into one of the boxes. Here's some pink. And this is three three yards it says and I'm pretty sure it's full. 
or just a nice pink. We've got a nice yellow one here, which is nice because I don't have a lot of yellow. We've got a black. Now this says there's 12 feet on here, according to that. And it looks pretty full to me. Now here is a nice yellow one as well. Just kind of going through these quick as there is lots and lots and lots. Here's a nice denim blue color. I'm sure I will do some um, lace packages for the shop with all this when I get time. Here's a nice, this is really nice. I like this nice soft pink. And then there is this peach color and white. And a nice light pink here. And then there is this here, ruffle. it says ruffled lace, but it's definitely not ruffled. But it says there's five yards here for $2. So, like I say, craft lace made in the USA. But this is, I like this, very beautiful blue color. person could cut these flowers out and use them. So that is cool. Okay, now here's big, big, big quantities. Now here there's two different types of this lace. And this also has that divide in it where you could sew that onto something. So actually sewing on like an edge of a page might look really good. But there's two different kinds of that. Quite a bit in that pile. And then here is some more of the black. And again, this has, again, that divide. It's black and a cream color. And then we have some black small lace. Going to be a lot in there. Probably 10, 10 meters on there or more. So lots on there. We got this here. Now this is divided and this is like a chalk brown with white this here there's quite a bit on there too and this is kind of like a satin shine to this lace so it's quite pretty now we have some dark burgundy and all this is so easy to unravel if you don't like the gathered lace you just either cut it or just unstitch it and you'll have beautiful flat ribbon. Put this down here. One box is getting full. Got a couple of these nice plastic things. So this is a this is a wider lace as well. And then a beautiful um teal blue and white. There was a couple rolls of cool. There is a red and a blue. I don't use a lot of this, but you never know what I'll find to use some of it on. I've got a few other colors as well, so there's those. What else do we got here? There is this here. This is a crocheted, it's not, it's machine done, I'm sure. Very nice, very soft, it's very soft, which is nice. So there is that one. Quite a bit of this too, probably four or five meters of that, I would think. Now, there is four baggies full of just a wide variety of lace. Let's I need another box to put this stuff in. 
Yeah, put that thing there. We go with another box nice and close. So there's bright red. Be great for a Christmas journal. And black. A lot of this is just kind of your normal everyday lace. And then we have a pink, a blue, and a purple, or a green, blue, and purple. It all looks like it's the same, just different colors. A roll of that. Now, all these seem to be, so far, there's, you know, a few meters of each of these at this point. A nice, this is a great size for pockets. And I'll show you a couple ideas that I have for using some of this wider, but not really wide lace. A couple projects and stuff. Here is another. This one here is ripped down the center or cut. Probably making it into two pieces, but that's a nice wide lace too. That would make good pockets as well. And then a big chunk of this, a couple chunks of that actually, with just a small piece there. But the video would be hours long if I uh, went and went through it too slowly. Lots and lots. This is, has a, a sparkle type thing in it, so this would make really good pockets too. Can you see the sparkle in there? I think, you, I think it shows up a little bit on camera. But that would be really nice as a pocket. And then this one here, which has got this cool little trim on the top. You could weave sure if you could weave in there or not yeah I think it goes through so you could weave a colored ribbon through there if you wanted another piece is same as a couple other pieces that we had just a short piece nice scalloped edge piece on that one this here is really nice too it's eyelet trim, but it's got like a bright satiny um, thread in it. Here's a like a smaller piece that kind of goes with it. So that looks pretty awesome, like that. And some eyelet trim, more eyelet trim. This here you could run a ribbon through it as well it's going to take me forever sorting this out and making up packages and stuff some nice flower and all these like these flowers could be used just the flower kind of as an applique and then another piece with a bit of a design on the top Of that. Now we got a whole bunch of pinks and so much. There's a big ball of this. Just a white with a pink edge. That one there's really pretty. Too bad it wasn't a bigger chunk, but just a little chunk of that. There's some just some pink gathered lace and some pink and off-white and some more pink and again it's got those cute little flowers that could be used as an applique multicolored and this has that satin shine to it as well Another one that has like a satin shine. Here's a beautiful peach colored.
That's nice. I like that with a nice satiny ribbon there. And then this here is just narrow, but it's got the pink ribbon on the top. Some off white. Hope you like lace because there is lots of it. And then a nice pale pink. And then this one here with the ribbon that's kind of encased in, in lace along the top. There is a little piece of this here. This is a gorgeous color. It's kind of it's kind of an orangey color. It looks pretty cool. There is this here. Now this is almost like um that gathered um when we do folded um fabric strips. Kind of the same effect as that. So that's pretty cool. Let's get rid of all that. Still got a couple more bags yet. This is a, I don't know what color you call it. It's almost a brown, but not really a brown. It's a very cool color. I like that. And then here is uh, some peach. Like some of the pink stuff that we had. But this isn't a ribbon in there. It's like another lace. I like that. And then we got this here. Um, some eyelet trim. Oh, this is quite wide. Quite nice. That would make nice pockets as well. So we got that. And some another trim. Bunch more um, eyelet trim. And more eyelet trim. And more eyelet trim. I'll have to uh, decide how I'm going to package some of this up for everybody. There. Lots of just white. Some of it was already kind of sorted into colors. Like, you know, white was in a bag and pink was in a bag, etc. This one has three layers of thing on it. I made that um, journal skirt removable journal skirt on the one journal that I made so I'm thinking some of this might be really good for something like that let's move this off I'm just putting it all loose into a box because I'll have to decide what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to put in the shop etc there is this here this is another three layer this is really stiff lace. Not sure why some lace gets like that, but I'll probably hand wash all this stuff as well. So that will be a big job. And then we've got a whole bunch of blues and different colors. We've got some nice purple. We all know that I love purple. Another, oh, there's a purple as well. See, this one looks like it might have been taken off of something. And then there's this nice purple here. Get rid of that. That would make a cute little, save that. There's a nice purple there as well, and another nice purple. Purple and white. Beautiful. Now this is kind of cool. It is a 
blue. It'll go really good in a denim journal of some kind. But that is actually a really cool ribbon. I like that one. We got this one here has a purple ribbon running through it, or part of it. I guess that's the right size there. Put that into there. The box is getting pretty full. This is an elastic one. I'm not fond of elastic lace but it can be pretty cool too so we got that some red and white again that would go in good in a christmas one and then we've got some like ribbon through it that would go really nice in a christmas one that nice deep dark red We've got some black. This is like, um, it's kind of like seam binding in a way, but I can't think of the real name for it. But I have some other colors like that. So there's a nice black. I don't normally use black in any of my journals or anything. Black just is not my color. There's some nice black eyelash, eye, eye, eyelet trim. There we go. We'll get it out. Some nice minty color. And some of these are great to just, you know, make collage out of the bits and pieces or something. This is another nice blue. This would make really nice pockets as well. Oh, okay. That side there is way nicer. I like that one and then we've got a it's kind of green but not green it's a blue but just kind of a different color but a very cool design on it and then a nice blue I don't know is there such a thing as lavender blue so that's a nice color too and then we've got this little piece. There's so much lace. A nice dark aqua color. Little bits of blues. And then there's a little other little piece in there. We've got this one here, which again is like a deep aqua blue. So I'm not sure how old some of this is. I know there was one bag that said 2014 on it. So I'm not sure if she's had it for a really long time. And a real fine, dainty blue lace. So let's get all that into my box. What else do we have? We have this here. Now we've got a couple bags of like ribbon and obviously buttons. So a bunch of teal colored buttons. Purple satin lace. Purples. Oh, well, there's a little clip in there. This is really, really pretty. I could definitely see that on a spine of a journal. That's really nice. There's yeah, about a meter and a half of it. But I love that pattern. As I say, I could really see that going down the spine of a journal. Some wide. Oh, this was for something because there's a piece of Velcro on it. Some very heavy, it's not even a ribbon, it's kind of canvasy in a way. So there's a chunk of that. Lots of different colors, little odds and ends of stuff. Here's a really cute um, folded over 
sheer fabric to make like a, a trim so that's pretty cool too lots of pink oh beautiful color here of silk silk ribbon satiny ribbon whatever that's a beautiful color a nice sage green color some pink some black some white some polka dots here is some blue this is a fabric land satin ribbon Hanks Navy which is probably what this was as well a little bit narrower but it feels and looks like the same type of ribbon we've got some yellow of that now this was marked at a dollar so I'm not sure if it was at the thrift store or on sale a nice oh that is so soft well, that is really really soft beautiful purple and here's a light blue that looks like it was the same type of ribbon and then just a few odds and ends of ribbons and laces okay this is the last bag and we're already at a half an hour for this video let's see we've got a whole bunch of black now this is doubled over, so it, it's like to sew on a, on a hammer or something. Can't remember what the name of it is. Bias tape, maybe? Is that the name of it? And then there is some silver, and it's the same. It's, it's like a bias tape type stuff. And there's also gold. We've got some black as well, and some white, some brown. We've got some denim. Now this would go great in a denim journal. And it's the same, it's like that bias tape fold on it or, I hope, I hope I'm getting that right. We've got some heavy duty stuff here as well. And then this is a bronzy, brassy type bias tape as well very shiny that would go really good you could easily put that on the edge of a page and then stitch down it that would actually look really really good I think and then here's some knit type stuff more denim more black this is a cream really satiny now it's the same, but it looks like it might have been ironed open. So there's that too. That says 25 cents on it. But as I say, I don't know if she got it at thrift stores or yard sales, maybe. Who knows? All that I know is she had a lot of it. And then we've got some pink bias and some white um no that's not for that it's got something to do with scissors but, and then some really thin stuff and then some black so that is the lace haul um it'll be a bit before i uh get it organized and and packages into the shop of what yet I don't know but all that I know is I've got my work cut out for me to sort this and make heads or tails of it I wanted to do just a really quick um, going through of it just so that you guys got to see it all and that would be it and so much fun Hope you enjoyed this lace haul, and we will see you soon in another video. Bye!